Hello, so today I'm going to be showing you my Minecraft survival world. So when you come in, you start off in my little house. You've got a little aquarium there, two cats, Tony and Roni. Got me and my little thing, got my egg collection and a bunch of stuff. Don't ask where I have an egg collection. Shulker boxes, armor stand, all of that, the whole lot. I've uh, got my office scene area and a sword. Right now I'm using my katana. Pretty sick. Completely maxed out. Uh, when you come out here, you go see my horse. I forgot his name actually. Bez. Pretty good. Then you go down here. Don't know how long this grinding took to ex excavate this. Got my little village den here. Parrots to breed them. I emptied that actually. And I got my fish covered because you know everyone's got to have a fish covered. <laughs> then when you go down here, this is where my uh, spawners are. I'm actually on a uh, peaceful route now though because I was trying to build something so I'm going to keep it on peaceful for the meantime actually. But you come down here and is my um, so I got a mod where I can silk touch spawners, and then if you put an egg into it, which you can uh, get eggs by killing them. Sometimes it's like a small chance. Put it into the spawner, and then there you go. So I got a gold farm with zombie pigmen. I've transferred most of my gold actually. It's going to be a big uh, project I'm going to do another time. I've only got the zombie pigmen farm right now. I might make a river farm, but you know. Don't need none of that. So when you come back out of the village then. Then just got iron gum spawning in my little reed to lake for some reason. Got a bamboo forest. And you know how it is. And I got me my creeper farm. Well good. You get the eggs when they die. Sometimes it's, it's weird. So from my bamboo farm. You go over here to my AFK fish farm. I've completely cleared it out. This is my house by the way. And I got myself that farm over here, got watermelon, you know, got uh, never war pumpkin, pumpkins, and I got carrots and potatoes over there. Actually, to be fair, I just bought a beetroot seed from a wandering trader. Got my little cake memorial, one of the first things I did. Chicken farm down there. Got the dragon egg and dra dragon head from when I killed it and got the elytra. Got my first beacon. Took a while to get that. Got sheep, got cows, got my second beacon over there. You know, the emeralds were coming in good from the villagers. Got the sugarcane, got enchanting place. Got my nether portal. Yeah, it's a work in progress to get the design going. This was going to be a zero tick farm, but then it never really worked out properly. So then I got my automated uh, wheat farm. Then here comes my zero tick actual cactus farm. Come in here. Um, I got this off YouTube by the way. So it's, it's pretty good actually, it's pretty decent. Um, I can show you how it works another time. It's, but it's pretty smart, then I just deposit it all in here. So from there, you got the church. The church, I also got the design off YouTube because, you know. It's a church. I'm not a genius. But in my church, that is where my storage room is. Got a cool little stained glass effect there. Jesus Christ, this took ages to build. So I'm going to survive look up here with you. Slash game mode creative. No. So it's got a bunch of stuff. So, you know, that side's actually empty at the moment. But. Oh yeah, it is just my storage room for the meantime. But then behind my chest, I'll show you what I got. I got a chest behind my... Oh yeah, if you're wondering what these chests are, these are from the... Uh, I forgot what they're called. It's a mod where diamonds will be like that. But they're quite expensive to uh, craft. So once you come over here, let me just... Okay, that did not work. There you go. Come over here, I'm building a little medieval village, you know. Because, you know, you gotta, you gotta be on, have to have something to do. You come down the path, tree of life, as I like to call it. 
village is the same line. Then you've got the nice little houses. I got the design of YouTube and it took ages to build this. Oh my god, every house looks like this on the inside. Got me my own little bed design. Ooh, looking. That's not what's going to happen there. <laughs> um, come down here. This is the socializing area. They can sit, each do whatever they want. You know, I should probably actually get very noted for that little section in there. Come over here, prove that all the houses are in the same inside. I think they look quite nice. Oh yeah, pretty much. So from here, this is meant to be like the more rich and wealthy area of the medieval village. But, of course, in every place, not everybody is fortunate enough to be wealthy. Oh, dang, I'm stuck. Ah, God. I'm gonna die from this wound. I'm stuck again! Oh my god. Well, <laughs> let, let me just get out of here. So, from there is a. How did he escape from the walls, this village? It took me ages to transport these villagers out of the um, actual underground bit and just. Oh, from there, I just spread them. I should probably get light this place up a little bit. I'm peaceful right now because I don't want my villagers to get killed. Then here is meant to be the less wealthy area, where right, the blacksmiths and stuff are. All the houses look like this for the ground floor. You go around back to the top floor. Like this, where they put your sleep and all that. And then a little cozy place to stay. Uh, and then, well yeah, that's pretty much the village. And... I'm not 100% sure if I missed anything out actually. Let me go double check. Oh, well, there's a cross actually. Jesus' cross, you know. Just gotta have that. Um, I don't think I've missed anything actually, no. I don't believe I have. It is a very big world. I'm planning on expanding the village, making it a little bigger, get huge castle walls, and. Well, yeah. Peace and bye.